Welcome to today's video. Well, this is something that's been annoying me for a couple of weeks now. I've been posting this link to utter sheeps, sheep people on the internet who actually believe everything that the government tells them. And if you see this here, this is straight from the horse's face from .gov UK guidance slash high dot consequence dash infectious dash disease dash HCID is the link. Official government website. Let's get a wee look at this page here. Stay at home. Only go outside for food, health reasons or work. But if you can not work from home. If you go out, stay two metres, six feet away from other people at all times. Wash your hands as soon as you get home. Do not meet others, even friends or family. You can spread the virus even if you don't have the symptoms. Ooh, scary shit, man. Right, stay at home. This is every advert on the TV as well you get. Stay at home. Protect the NHS, save lives. Protect the NHS from what? Stop doing their stupid dances and carry coffins about. They're utter taking the pish right out of you here. These crisis actors taking the absolute pish out of the whole world. Now, further down this page, let's see what it says here. The government says... As of 19th of March 2020, the virus is no longer considered, no longer considered to be a high consequence infectious disease in the UK. Just let's read that again. Is no longer considered to be a high consequence infectious disease. The Four Nations Public Health HCID group made an interim recommendation in January 2020 to classify it as an HCID. This was based on consideration of the UK HCID criteria about the V and the D of which available during the early stages of the outbreak. Now that more is known about it, public health bodies in the UK have reviewed most up-to-date information about it against the highly contagious infectious disease criteria. They have determined that several features now have changed. In particular, more information is available about mortality rates, low overall. In fact, if you go into the mortality rates uh, figures on the government website also, the mortality rates for March was lower than it was the past two years as well. And there is now greater clinical awareness for specific and sensitive lab tests and the availability of which continues to increase. Cases, blah, blah, are no longer managed by HCID treatment centres. All healthcare workers managed if possible. Confirmed cases should follow the new updated prevention guidance for it. So, when it just goes on to tell you what an HCID is, but I'm not sure why, because it's no longer considered to be one, as from March 19th. Now, why then they said this in March 19th, 2020? Did they shut us? This was a Thursday, by the way. And on Monday, the 23rd, they still shut the whole world down. Stay at home. Don't even meet friends or family oh my god what a heinous crime that would be my god go outside stay no there was an incident i seen the police locally here just a day or two ago there and for all day the police were all standing about and they were actually shoulder to shoulder touching laughing and joking wandering about Leading by example, of course, of the two metre social distancing rule, not. So it's a complete scam demic. 19th, no longer considered to be high consequence infectious 
disease. Twenty third, stay home, don't even leave. Blah blah blah. Now I've posted this link on many Facebook groups and whatever. Only a couple of people have actually followed it and looked at it and says, "Well, why are they shutting us down then?" Other people just see it as get your tin foil. Now that this this tin foil hat patter it is it's absolute cringy in my opinion. It's just like if the earth was flat, a cat would putting a ball over the end. It's just regurgitating utter crap that's fed to them. They can't think for themselves. And even though this link is on the internet here to be just type it in and you'll find it. The government has told you this is what it is. The people you've got these complete and utter fandangos even can't drive in the car theirself without looking as if they're walking into Chernobyl twenty year ago. They've the complete and utter sheep assholes of they've just they can't think for themselves. So I'll put this link down in the description for you. Just a quick just a quick video here to show you. It's straight from the horse's mouth here. They're telling you it's no longer no longer considered a high consequence as these before the shot is done for it. So there you go. It is what it is, people. If you don't want to see it, you'll never be able to see it. Because you just want to... If, if you follow what your government tell you with such starry eyes and uh, appreciation, look at this website and they're telling you. Yet they go on to shut the place down. Anyway, don't stay home, don't stay safe, get out in the sun, get some vitamins in your bones and body. Till the next one, catch you later.